Right, great tens, welcome to today's video in which we are quickly we're going to be looking at how to insert page numbers. Now you can see when I look through this document, let me just take this away. Um, I don't have any page numbers. Usually our page numbers reflect at the bottom of the page. So you can see I've got two pages, nothing there. So how do we do this? Okay, well, in my home tab, I've got nothing over there. I'm going to go up to my insert tab and ah, you can see here, I've got a few options. Now, what do they want me to insert? What are we talking about? We're talking about page numbers. So I'm not talking about a header or footer, even though the page number is in the footer, which is at the bottom of the page. I'm going to specifically go to page number. And you can see I have a number of options. I can include a page number at the top of a page. And then they give me different options. I can go to the bottom of the page and there's different options. I can put it in the page margin or the current position, you know, whatever it is that I actually want to do. So I'm just going to go bottom of the page. And generally, one thing they ask you is sometimes to put a page number in at the bottom of the page and display it as page X of Y. This is all they mean. It must display as page one of one or one of two or one of five, whatever it is. But that's the format that they want. So I'm just going to select that. And you can see number one, there's my first page, page one of two and page two of two. Okay, now you'll also see at the top here my header and footer tools open and I've got a number of options. Um, I can put in alignment. Um, I can put a tick here so that there's a different first page. So if I put that tick in over there, do you see on the first page it's disappeared? But the page numbering continues. Okay, so if I take that tick out again, you'll see page one of two appears. If I say different odd and even pages, you should see page one of two is there and then page two of two is not there because it'll display every odd page. Okay, put that tick back and then I've got page two of two. And then when I'm done with whatever I, I, I need to do, um, maybe I want to go and do a bit of formatting and say, you know, I want to include, a, uh, you know, where the page number must start or a chapter number or something like that. I can go and do that, but we'll do that in another video, just showing you where it is. So folks, this, and when I'm done, I can click close header and footer, and there you can see there is my page number. And this is how we insert page numbers into our document.